There is fundamentally no business case for private enterprise to advance a space frontier. When you advance a frontier, you are making mistakes that the capital markets choose not to value. You are, have to create patents to enable things that you don't know will work. Anytime you are the first person to do something on that scale, the history of human civilization has demonstrated that the only funding available to do that is via governments. The Dutch East India Trading Company, they were not the agency that found America from Europe. That was Columbus, funded by Queen Isabella. There was Magellan, also funded by Spain. They laid the groundwork to find out where to go, does the Earth have an edge or not, is it something worth doing? Then behind them, the Dutch East India Trading Company came to conduct business in a way safer than could have possibly have been economically justified had they been the first to do it. You look at the railroads that crossed the United States. Um, Newt Gingrich mentioned that as entrepreneurs leading the way, but he neglected the fact that Lewis and Clark got there first on a major funded expedition under the Jefferson administration. So you lay out the land, you map the rivers, you map the terrain, then you've got an understanding of what the risks are for the capital markets to then value, then they come in behind. So I see any participation of the private enterprise in space exploration, not the first ones to go to Mars, not even to go back to the moon, but to make our access to low Earth orbit the efficiently costed exercise that it really should have been at the beginning of the shuttle but was never realized. The federal budget is three point something trillion dollars. If you want to count to a trillion, it would take you 100,000 years, and that's one number per second every waking and sleeping moment of your life. That's how big that number is. It's not that we can't afford it, it's that we have chosen to not afford it. I tweeted recently, I tweeted recently that the US bailout of the banks exceeded the 50 year budget of NASA. You want to put something in context, if you want to do something with three and a half trillion dollars, you can do whatever you want. Whatever you judge to be important to the profile of the nation that you were trying to just build and to sustain. So I submit to you that when you look at the NASA budget, and I'm tired of saying this, but I'll have to say it again, the NASA budget is four tenths of one penny on a tax dollar. If I held up the tax dollar and I cut horizontally into it, four tenths of one percent of its width, it doesn't even get you into the ink. So I will not accept a statement that says we can't afford it.